The NVIDIA IGX Oren Developer Kit is an industrial-grade platform for developing and deploying real-time edge AI inference applications. It combines enterprise-level hardware, software, and support. We'll show you how to quickly configure your developer kit to get started today. We'll cover the different ways you can utilize the developer kit, a system overview, unboxing and powering up your system, setting up your system, installing the NVIDIA Holoscan SDK, and running your first Holoscan application. First, let's learn about the different ways you can use the developer kit. The developer kit comes pre-flashed with basic Ubuntu, on top of which you can install the NVIDIA Holopack SDK to start your development journey. Holopack is the equivalent of NVIDIA Jetpack for NVIDIA Holoscan, and it provides a full development environment. If you'd like to use the developer kit with a deployment stack such as Yocto, you can follow our instructions on GitHub to reflash, but in this video, we'll set up the kit as a development machine with Holopack. Please note that the setup process may change in the future. Always refer to your developer kit's user guide for the latest instructions. You can order the developer kit with or without an additional NVIDIA RTX A6000 GPU installed, depending on your application's computational needs. Let's take a look at the system. The NVIDIA IGX Orin Developer Kit includes the NVIDIA IGX Orin Industrial Module, the NVIDIA BMC Module for remotely controlling and managing the IGX Orin Module, the NVIDIA Connect X7 Network Interface Card with two QSFP 28 100 Gigabit Ethernet ports for facilitating fast I/O2 and from the Developer Kit. The safety MCU for controlling the power and recovery pins of Orin and accessing the BMC module. A 500 GB SSD for storage. A Realtek Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module for wireless connectivity. And an optional RTX A6000 discrete GPU, also called a DGPU, for additional computational power. For a full list of the developer kit's I.O. ports, please refer to our user guide. Note that there may be small differences in the port number annotations between the user guide and what's printed on the back panel. Now that we're familiar with the system, we're ready to take it out and power it up. Let's first have a look inside the box. Along with the IGX Orin Developer Kit, there's a power cable, a USB-C cable, and a QSFP28 direct attached copper cable. Connect a keyboard, a mouse, and a monitor to the developer kit. If you have a kit without the additional RTX A6000 GPU, connect the display cable to port 8. If there is an RTX A6000 installed, it will be connected to one of the four display ports on slot 14. Connect the developer kit to the internet via an ethernet cable now or via the Wi-Fi module during system configuration. Here we'll use an ethernet cable. Connect the power cable and toggle the power switch to on. Press the power button and the system should boot up. Let's continue setting up the system. After booting it up, you'll be asked to configure the system. The system will reboot after. Once rebooted, log in with the username and password you just set up. A dialog prompt should then pop up. Before continuing with the dialog prompt, Follow the user guide's instructions to find your L4T base image version and the compatible Holopack version. If you need to update your dev kit to the latest L4T base image that's compatible with the latest Holopack, follow the reflashing instructions in the user guide. Otherwise, to continue setting up with the L4T base image pre-flashed in the factory, we can interactively install Holopack without flashing. If you don't have the RTX A6000D GPU, your DisplayPort connection during booting should be to the system on a chip at port 8. The dialog prompt will ask whether you want to install NVIDIA GPU driver software for the integrated GPU. If you have the RTX A6000 discrete GPU, your DisplayPort connection during booting should be to one of the four DisplayPorts on slot 14. The dialog prompt will ask whether you want to install NVIDIA GPU driver software for the DGPU. If you had the wrong DisplayPort connected on your system, simply click No at the dialog prompt, switch the DisplayPort, and reboot. Enter the password in the terminal when prompted. The installation includes NVIDIA CUDA, TensorRT, CUDNN, and GPU drivers. The end of the installation will look like this. 
reboot after the installation of Holopack is complete, and if applicable for your L4T base image version, follow the developer kit user guide to set up your SSD and Docker. Now we're ready to start developing on the IGX Orin developer kit. If you're interested in developing with the Holoscan SDK, we'll now walk you through quickly setting up a sample application. The Holoscan SDK is a domain agnostic SDK for streaming AI pipelines. The SDK delivers the accelerated full stack infrastructure required for scalable, software defined, and real time processing of streaming data, running at the edge or in the cloud. It supports a variety of domains, from medical devices and high-performance computing to industrial inspection and more. There are several ways to install the Holoscan SDK. Today, we'll go with the Holoscan container image on NVIDIA NGC. Follow the instructions on NGC to pull and launch the Docker container. You can run any of the examples installed along with the Holoscan SDK. First, we'll run a Hello World application in Holoscan. Next, we'll run a simple ping example that transmits 10 messages. Now that we've run Holoscan SDK examples, let's take it one step further and run a sample application from Holohub, a community-driven collection of Holoscan applications, operators, and tutorials. We'll get clone the Holohub repo. Next, we'll build and launch the Holohub container. Within the launch container, we can build the sample applications. Now we're ready to run the multi-AI ultrasound sample application we've just built. Congratulations! You've successfully set up your NVIDIA IGX Orin developer kit and run a Holoscan application. In the future, if you need support, please visit the IGX Orin Developer Kit Forum and the Holoscan SDK Forum. We look forward to seeing what you build.